prayer, fasting, and obedience. Move mountains by doing those things. Walk in obedience was God is telling you. If you need anything to be taken care of in your life, if you need your marriage fixed, if you need your relationship fixed in the name of Jesus, if you need that bill paid, if you need that healing in your life, if you need deliverance in the name of Jesus from alcohol abuse or anger or worrying or doubt or whatever your issue is that you are struggling with, obey God. Pray and fast. I mean, if you got to uh, fast and pray for from 7 Tuesday to 7 a.m. in the morning, the next day and went on Wednesday, do it. And pray the whole time, sacrificing your flesh <laughs> for the Father. It's a faith move. I'm living it. I'm walking it. Uh, God has really um, increased my confidence in him. I can't stress it enough. Be obedient to the word of God. When you're not supposed to say anything, don't take it to the Lord in prayer. I'm talking about saying anything from your feelings, from your hurt, from your emotions. Hallelujah. I'm encouraging each and every individual out there. Obey the Lord. If you're out there fornicating, if you got issues with lust and perversion in the name of Jesus, if you lusting after women and you lusting after men and you got to get out there and have sex, if you've been molested and that seed has been planted in your, your, um, your spirit to make you feel like you have to find love through sex in the name of Jesus, do not have uh, premarital sex with anybody. Stay celibate. Sacrifice that flesh to watch the hand of God move in your life. If you want that husband that you've been praying for and you want that business that you've been praying for, pray and fast, even if you do it every week. It can be uh, the weekend. I mean, it can be for four hours. Start off for four hours if you need to. Start off for three hours. It's that faith move that, that is considered righteousness in the name of Jesus. I just got to encourage everybody on there. Because <laughs> the hand of God is moving so tough in my life. I can't even keep up. When he says he'll pour out the windows of blessing upon you that you will not have room enough to receive it. Mm, that love, that love, that favor. I mean, going to a restaurant and you know your food is supposed to be a certain amount of money and it comes back half that favor. I mean, there's many situations that, you know, God can clear your credit. He, all he has to do is speak the word, obey, pray and fast and whatever you're struggling with will be gone in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah.